All right, what's up guys? Brox here again, and uh, today I'm gonna show you something really interesting. If you have models like this, it's really high density, really high poly, it's impossible to animate, or you can't uh, continue sculpting in, say, Mudbox because you don't have Dynamesh, which uh, ZBrush has. I'm gonna show you how to uh, sort of use the uh, graphite modeling tools on the Freeform Poly Paint to retopologize this model. I'm not going to retopologize the entire thing, but I'm going to show you the techniques uh, of some of the tools. I, I, I myself don't even know all of them. Uh, but uh, I'm going to show you how useful uh, they can be. They're really cool, actually, and I like them a lot. So here I have my uh, my little orc, and uh, he's, uh, his topology is completely off. If you press F4 here, you can see that, yeah, well, you know, it's 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 working okay actually, uh, but inside of the mouth, so the retopology, the topology just goes to shit when I try to uh, carry on modeling there. So what we do is that we uh, select our model, we go into this uh, uh, freeform tab up at the ribbon here. You can customize this if you want to. And then under Freeform tab, you look to your right where it says Grid and choose Draw on Surface. And then click Pick and then select your object. And uh, then we need something to draw on. So we open the Poly Draw and we click uh, Create New Object. And what we do then is that we just create an editable poly. And let's set the offset to, say, 0.5, okay? And uh, you have to sort of uh, choose an area to pick. I usually choose this area to start with uh, when I read apologize faces. It's just because I'm used to it. No other reason. You can start anywhere you want. But I like... Uh, some people w like to work from the outside and in towards the face. I like to work from the inside and out. Sort of around the nose area. So what will you do is you, you click this step build right here. And this is my um, my favorite way. I'll show extend, but I probably won't use it. Uh, so click on step build. And you get this sort of uh, cross here. Target pointer thingy. And then I want you to click and click. And what that does is that it creates two floating vertices oh, in the middle of nowhere as you can see well they're kind of floating a little far out so I'm gonna uh, step back oh I can't see because I'm zoomed way in oh yeah it's because I've created something there yeah I'm sorry uh, I'm sorry this didn't go quite the way I expected because my freeform modeling tools are gone <laughs> oh there they are uh, it's probably just because I deselected it yeah so I'm gonna do that again uh, poly draw new object and I'm going to change the offset to 0.1 because 0 0.5 is a little too much so same up again step build click one click two and what that creates are two floating vertices now you're gonna need four so click one, click two again. So now we have two ver now four vertices, which uh, basically makes up a polygon in usual terms. So what we do then is that we uh, hold down shift and we drag our mouse from one side to the other. That creates a polygon in between all of those vertices. So if we try again and uh, click one, click two, and drag, you see that? Creates another polygon. And uh, there are a lot of. Uh, I'm going to show you some techniques later with that. And then we're going to click one, two, three, and drag out like so. You see that? Now you can probably understand how useful this could get. Uh, when you have a really complicated model. Now you can keep on clicking. 
I'm just I just like to do it often one uh, one sort of segment at a time but you can like keep like clicking here 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 you know depending on how how big you want your segments how dense you want your uh, your uh, model to be you sort of gotta adjust that uh, later probably remove some segments so this is just to get the basic topology and instead of just instead of making a plane like we did before and oops instead of making a plane like we did before and extending every single one of them sometimes that happens sometimes it just gets annoying and that's because it doesn't quite understand the distance oh darn it then you just have to sort of drag from another angle and what I'm doing here is I'm holding down shift and I'm dragging and if it doesn't work I do it again <laughs> hold down shift and drag hold down shift and drag and with this you can basically do this to the entire model now I'm going to show you the extend tool and if you mouse over these uh, graphite modeling tools, it shows you all the hotkeys and every tool you need to know. So really dig into that and read it. And you learn a lot more there than you can do from just watching this tutorial. So the extend tool uh, works just like in, in the old days. That's what we did. If you, if you hold down shift and uh, you drag out, you can sort of uh, drag out a polygon from an edge problem is they don't stick you know so it's good if you want to make a split uh, you know uh, but they don't stick together like they don't weld but they stick to the surface as you can see uh, there, uh, there's probably a way to ring extend uh, however I'm not entire loop yeah control shift to bring the entire loop out yeah so you can make them stick together, it seems. But uh, as you can see, you don't have quite control over where the vertice vertices go. It sort of just ripples it upon the surface. So so uh, I like the step stepping uh, oh, technique with the step build. So I'm going to carry on, uh, just placing some points here. And I'm just doing this really fast, but you, when you do this, you really got to think about uh, where you place a lot of your polygons. And this makes for a really cool, like, uh, time-lapsing, if you're making, a, say, a video or anything like that or something to show off your workflow it just looks like basically you're painting polygons which is probably why they call it poly paint you know it's uh it's it's a it's a really useful tool now here i'm kind of confused i'm not sure where i want my polygons to go because the eye is coming up right here and that can very often create issues say I wanted to turn I wanted to turn now don't I yeah 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 I wanted to turn so then I bring that up right like that and uh, I bring this with yeah sure why not so this is how it works you just keep putting down the points and uh, drawing in the polygons 
until you have your sort of uh, basic shape and then you start um, refining it with the regular sort of uh, poly edit tools that you're used to So combining these two, as you can see here, this is a little bit more dense than the other one. And all you do then is you just basically go into normal edit mode, go out of step build, and uh, make a connect. It's as easy as that. And then you already have the vertices here, so you can go back into step build, hold down shift, and then hopefully if you make it work, you can paint across sometimes. If not, then you'll have to add in another segment in between draw to that segment and then hopefully ah uh, awkward moment when you're trying to show people how to do stuff and it doesn't work well sometimes bridging uh, can be an issue uh, and that's when you just uh, have to do it the old way by bridging it but yeah that's basically the starting of the tool and how you uh, sort of uh, could use it. Um, moving that out, that, that would be interesting. Is that a way? Scaling it out, is that possible? No, it's not possible. You're gonna have to live with, so see, this is the, sort of another problem with the uh, with the extend. If I wanted to extend this entire ring, I couldn't do it because it'll bring the bottom loop in as well. So yeah, um, that's sort of a starter to how you can use the uh, step build tool. So I really uh, I really sort of want you to try and play with this. Um, it's really a useful tool. I should probably complete this and create a time lapse so people can see, you know, the long uh, workflow of how how it all works. But uh, since I'm recording with fraps, uh, it creates a, a huge file. In, and uh, <coughs> I can't really be bothered with waiting for the render time of that entire thing. So yeah, come on, paint them polygons. Sometimes you get these issues and they are really annoying. Just try from a different angle then. So once again, what I'm doing left click to paint the polygons hold shift drag from one polygon to the next one actually you can drag from any angle you want just drag towards the four vertices that you want to draw on okay paint vertices drag polygons paint vertices shift drag polygons oh and oh nah. It's a little bit clunky sometimes. And uh, if you want to remove polygons, you can hold control and uh, drag on them. That'll remove them. Hold control, drag on them. That's sort of an eraser. Eraser tool. So yeah, so once you have that, I can show in the uh, next video how you unwrap something like this and make a texture map to it so uh, and I don't well, not at all I guess uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video